guys, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I'd like to show you how we're going to do this today. And here's what we'll need to get this project done. A frying pan that you're no longer using decorative napkins and it's a good idea to shop for ribbon or use ribbon that matches or complements your napkins. We're going to need freezer paper and I will show you how to adhere the freezer paper to the, the copy paper because we're going to be using our printer and you will also need some spray adhesive. I think some people have also used glue sticks to do this too. I think this is called a page protector. This is going to work today in place of our saran wrap decoupage glue. I just snipped a water bottle in half. Put my decoupage glue in it. Going to be using a matte varnish. You'll need a spray fixative or a very fine mist of aerosol hairspray. All of these things are available on my website. Also today I'm going to be using a good primer. This one says also bonds to plastic and since we're using it over Teflon we're going to need something that's really got some teeth to it. I'll also be using the Martha Stewart is a multi-surface paint, antiquing medium. If you can't find this or you don't have it, you can use brown acrylic paint. We'll water it down a little bit. Large scissors, small decoupage scissors. If you don't have the decoupage scissors, you can use one of those small artist's brushes and cut out your images with water. Some sponge brushes, a couple of sponge brushes. I am using a roller brush today and I'm using a very flexible, cheap toothbrush that you can get at any dollar store. We'll also need some low-tech painter's tape. The first thing you want to do is cover the handle. If you've got a reinforced handle like this, you want to cover it. If you don't have it, the first thing you want to do is spray your primer on your whole surface. So I'm going to spray this all over right now, let it dry, and then come back and we'll move on to the next step. is cut out a few of the images that I'm going to be using on the inside here. So I'm not separating my napkin yet. I want to keep this three ply so that I can cut it a lot easier than if it's just the one ply. So I'm going to cut those out right now while my pan is drying. If you don't have the decoupage scissors, this is where you can use your artist's brush this tip actually works better than a pointed one for something like this. At least it's my preference. Just wet the tip with some water and go around the outline of where you would like to tear it. Just like that. Hold the part you don't want to tear. And then you can just tear. So to do my transfer, I took a piece of freezer paper and a piece of just copy paper and I cut the freezer paper to the same size as the copy paper. I have a little wax paper down here and what I'm going to do is use the spray adhesive to secure the freezer paper over the copy paper. done and I made sure to adjust the size so that it fits inside of here and I'm transferring it onto the same napkin that I'll be using to decoupage with. So what I'm going to do is, by the way, I had to print this out so that the image was reversed. our label. I 
I'm going to use some fixative spray on this right now so that we can decoupage with it. I have used in the past hairspray, but it has to be aerosol. Otherwise, when you wet it, it, it will run. An inkjet print will run. And before I use the spray fixative, I'm actually going to separate the napkin. And now I'm going to use the large scissors to cut out the label. This is why I'm using this page protector, sheet protector. I'm not sure what this is called. But if we were to use the saran wrap because we've got a curved surface and it's concave, you can't put the saran wrap down and pull it tight because we're pressing down. This is also plastic and you can just press it flat. So what I'm going to do is take my decoupage glue and I'm going to apply it to the area where I'm going to put the label. Place my label down. Just pat it down a little bit over that damp decoupage glue. Then I'm going to take this sheet protector and press down and now use my fingers. From the center out usually works best. Press down all of the edges, the center. Just make sure every part of it is adhered to the pan. Now I'm going to take some of those flowers that I cut from my original napkin and I'm going to decoupage them in an appealing manner around the label so that I can frame it a little bit. Be careful if you're overlapping the napkin a little bit, be careful not to rub your brush over it. It could still pull it away. That napkin's very delicate. So on the edges, I'm just going to blot softly where I want to add one of the pre-cut napkins. <laughs> And again, I'm using this to press down what I just did. And I'll wipe away that little bit of decoupage glue. And I'll continue doing that around the rest of my label. Now once you're sure that your work is dry, and it really shouldn't take that long to dry, maybe 15 minutes tops. We still want to be careful with the decoupage glue. Just blot all of the work you just put down. It's just really important that everything's dry first, otherwise the sponge or whatever you're using will pull up your work. And once we're done with this, we'll put this aside to dry. And before we top coat it, we're going to do one more thing. And you're going to want to put some scrap paper, newspaper, uh, anything down to protect the surface because it's, this part could get a little bit messy. And what I did was I took some, now this is antiquing medium, but you can see how I have a little water in there. I put a little antiquing medium, and you can get this in the craft store. It just says antiquing medium. If you can't find it, you can go ahead and use brown acrylic paint and just water it down. And I'm taking this toothbrush and what I'm going to do is dip the brush in the water just a little bit and then pick up some of the antiquing medium or acrylic paint. First I'm going to flick it onto the scrap paper. Okay, it's pretty light. I just want to get an idea of how heavy the paint is. And I'm going to flick it around my surface. Now you may want to play around with this on the paper first. And you might want to just do this a little bit lightly around. It just ages it a tiny bit more. That's just going to take a few minutes to dry. 
Then we're going to come back and add our top coat and I'm using a matte varnish. And I am not only going to apply it to where we just did our work, by the way, everything's dry now. I'm going to apply it to every section of the pan that I painted. Let's just apply the varnish and then we'll put this aside to dry and it does not take long at all for this varnish to dry. once this dries. Now everything's dry and all we have to do is add our ribbon once we take this tape off. And I'm going to add the ribbon right here. And there is our completed shabby chic upcycled frying pan. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please keep on commenting and posting on my Facebook page. Love your pictures. I love hearing from you and I will be back next week with another video. Please don't forget about my website upcyclewithdecoupage.v as in Victor, P as in Patty, web Dot com. Upcycle with decoupage.vpweb.com. You can go on over there and check out my blog. You can watch other videos and you can certainly buy to your heart's content. I've got a lot of beautiful napkins over there and most of the supplies you'll need. I do not have old frying pans on there, but we probably all have those. And if you don't, you can certainly pick one up at a yard sale or a Salvation Army or a thrift store. And I am so grateful that you're all watching and here with me. Thanks again, guys. I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.